Have you ever passed on going out with friends because you wanted to complete some work tasks early? Seems reasonable. However, when you go to boot your PC, it turns off immediately. CPU, are you okay? Let's find out on DIY in 5. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where we make tech simple enough that you can do it yourself in five minutes or less. Today we're talking about common PC problems and how to fix them. Last episode we looked at motherboard issues that could be giving you a headache, and today we'll go over some of the more common CPU hiccups you might encounter. Common reasons for CPU shutdowns include age, heat, stress, and power surges. So if you were to go start your CPU and it powered down immediately, you could ask yourself, was this CPU old? Or had I been getting temp warnings? Or have I been trying to simulate the Marvel multiverse in real time? Just kidding, but you get the point. There is a rational reason behind this. Luckily at DIY in 5, we've already done this work for you, so let's skip to the symptoms and then talk about how to diagnose them. Generally, based on the four causes previously mentioned, the symptoms will be exhibited by the patient, or in this case, our CPU, and they are, the PC does not post, the PC turns on, the fans are running, but it still does not post, the PC turns on and shuts down immediately, screen freezes, or blue screens of death. Typically, the root causes of these symptoms are as follows. Heat and dust, thermal compound, leaks or bulging capacitors, power supply, video card capacitors, and fan. Armed with this information, the first thing that we will check for is heat and dust. Over time, fans die and the thermal compound on the CPU dissolves and needs to be reapplied. So let's open up the PC and examine our CPU. We're going to clean out all dust. Target the fans and especially the CPU fan. Since you already have the PC open, it would be a good time to remove the heat sink and fan from the CPU and to apply another layer of thermal paste. It's a good idea to check for any loose screws or cables that may be causing a short. If any cable is loose or screw is not properly seated, the PC may only turn on for a split second, then shut down. Now, let's try to reboot your PC to see if it posts. If it does post, it's highly recommended to go into your BIOS and monitor the CPU temp for about 10 minutes. The temp should stay pretty stable and not push towards the warning limits. If it's stable, congratulations, you are done. But what happens if you turn on your PC and you immediately hear fans, but it still doesn't post? Check to see if the CPU fan is actually running. This is a more common issue than you think. Dust kills fans over time and over the life of your CPU, if the fans are not cleaned regularly or you run your PC constantly, this can happen. Now turn the PC back on and let's hope that it posts. Generally, in most cases, these two methods will also take care of screen freezes and blue screens. However, there are instances that something else may be the cause. This also holds true for power on and immediately powering off. Power supply or PSU issues can be hard to distinguish between CPU issues sometimes. For example, let's say that your CPU is starting to overheat. You could experience reboots as it's possible to set up your BIOS to automatically shut down in cases of high CPU temperature. Or the CPU could be unstable and Windows throws a blue screen. However, the instability could be caused by the power supply not being able to properly deliver power to the components during times of more stress. High performance games can be extremely taxing at times. Another scenario would be a video rendering that contains a timeline with multiple 4K clips. Power supply issues are tough because it requires another power supply in most cases to figure out if that's the issue. If you're still having issues at this point, check your PC for any leaks or bulging capacitors. Do the same on the video card. Make sure the cables are still seated. These steps will ensure that your CPU is not the issue and more importantly, tell you if your power supply is failing at max load. So hopefully this was helpful. May all of your PCs post and never ever turn off. Well, unless you want them to, that is. All right, I am Trisha Hirschberger and you have been watching DIY in 5.